Weirdo Benjo. Hello there, everyone. I hope you're in the mood to blow some things up today, because we're playing a brand new VR mech game for the Quest 2. Now, I do feel like I've played probably four or five different VR mech games at this point. Um, and I think there's a good reason for that. They work really, really well in VR, because you're stationary. You're sitting in a cockpit and everything moves around you, so for a seated VR experience, they're kind of perfect, if I'm perfectly honest. I mean, look at it. I move my hands around, I've got the cockpit around me, I can look around it, and it feels like I'm actually here because I am actually sitting in a chair at home, legs elevated. It's really tailor-made for a VR game. Some experiences just work better than others, and I think that's why we're seeing so many mech games or tank games in VR currently. Now this is a new mech game, as I say, it's called World of Mechs. And this weekend they're running kind of an open beta, a bit of an early access, or it might be a closed beta actually, for a few people to jump in and go hands-on. So I thought I would capture my experience and uh, see, see what it's like. Now click and hold left stick while moving forward to sprint to the next zone. Easy, I can do that, I know how to sprint. Where's the next zone? There it is. Am I sprinting? Is that a sprint? Don't know, it didn't feel like a sprint. Good. Okay, shoot well the- oh, where's he going? Now reach the zone on this ledge. Have that! Have that! He's dead. Ooh! It's got kind of a, um, kind of a cel-shaded cartoony aesthetic to it there. The explosions and the fire and the smoke was all kind of cel-shaded. Interesting. Right, I've got some jump boosters. Wee! <laughs> Right, I'm in. Okay, so we have a heat gauge here, and that's for my secondary weapons, which I think is right trigger. Yeah. And the heat gauge goes up. That's also connected to jumping and boosting. So if I run that meter all the way to the top, it temporarily pauses my reloading ability, so I've really got to keep an eye on that. And I also have a stomp ability if I press X. Some oh! Will have a it's like a shockwave. Okay, so this is quite interesting. So there's three different weapon types. There's energy, ballistic, and explosive. Now, energy's better at chewing through shields, so that's the blue bar above the enemies that are kind of slowly circling around me right now. Um, and then their health, which is the hull, is the red bar. So if you have an energy weapon, that will chew through the shield faster. The ballistic weapons, so like my machine gun on my right, that chews through the hull faster. And the explosive weapons chew through either or both in equal measure. Now my left, so my primary, so my explosive, can only attack when targeted. Is it going to hit them? It still bloody missed him. There we go. Okay, that does, that's pretty good against shield. And then my ballistic should be good against his hull. Yeah, it's kind of cell shady. Let's have a little look at some of these other mechs. I think they're quite... I think it has got a bit of a... Yeah! Bit of a cell shady aesthetic to it. Take that. Oh, reload, reload. Because these ones aren't going to fire back because this is just training, so it's kind of nice. But this new mech that I've been moved into has a strafe ability, so I can jump to the right and it's on a cooldown just there, so I can like do a left or right strafe like that. Kind of jumps over. Take aim, press B. Well done. What was that? Battle to earn XP and currency so you can purchase more mechs. What was that? <laughs> so like a shuriken. Okay. okay, well I guess that's tutorial done then. Great, Let's brilliant. Get the good part. Stand by. Let's. Okay. I always like the menu screens in these mech games. And this one isn't quite as interactive or cool as Vox Machina where you've got the computer and you can actually play with the dials and pull levers and things, but it's still nice to stand in here and be next to the mech. Now, what have we got in the way of options? We've got a bot match, multiplayer matches, campaign. So there is a single player campaign. Okay, okay. Whoa, 20 chapter long campaign. All right, all right. I thought it was just multiplayer for some reason. Uh, we also have inventory and this is where you can buy new mechs. There are a lot of mechs. So there is a medic mech for 13 grand. I only have five. I'm very poor. Scout mech. I like that one. It looks a bit kind of ninja-y. Don't know why. A bit samurai-ish. Uh, a striker. That's a bit of a chunky one. That looks like something out of Robocop. Uh, Vanguard. The trooper, which I have. Very chunky. 
the Sniper, Brawler, oh I like that, and Juggernaut. Oh my god, that one's huge! That one is huge! How do I unlock that? Oh bugger, right, Troop is what I've got currently, I can't afford anything else. Now I can upgrade different ones, get different kind of um, decals and colours by getting more XP. My XP is currently 740, so I've got a long way to go to get any new decals. And I think I can customise my abilities as well, so I can... Oh, bloody hell, there's loads of stuff in here. Craft. Component can I be crafted, so I can upgrade the damage of my weapons or the reload speed by using money and XP. Two things which I have nothing for, and you can also upgrade the the base stats, so the hull, the shield, the speed, the jump jets. Oh, okay. If this stuff carries through to multiplayer, the people that have put a lot of time into, I assume, campaign are really going to have a massive advantage because they're going to have XP and money to spend, <laughs> whereas people just jumping into the multiplayer first are going to be doomed to die. Right, let's check out a campaign mission first. I really didn't know this game had campaigns. That's a lovely, lovely surprise. Chapter 1, Initiation. Let's get some money and XP. Right, here we are. I'm in. Hello there, pilot. Hello, I'm Jasmine. Yasmin, and I will oh, be Yasmin, your sorry. contact for the Battle Mech Federation. Okie dokie. Looks like you're on the way to the arena. I am. Finally. I hope you're excited for today's match. We so are excited. so glad you were available on such short notice. As you obviously heard, the one and only Brayden Kane was injured <gasps> in his last battle. Brayden Kane? a terrible tragedy for the League. Who's Brayden Kane? Fortunately for you, the team's co-captain, Laru, referred to you, and here we are. Brilliant. Great referral. Recruit, subbing in for one of our biggest teams. Okay, Chapter 1, Initiation, Domination, Capture and Hold Objective Zones to accrue points over time. The team with the most points after 4 minutes wins. So I'm assuming the story mode, or the campaign, is kind of basically just like what the multiplayer is going to be. Ooh, that's cool! Like a nice little cityscape! Right, so I'm guessing the campaign is still going to be deathmatches, right? Okay, this is King of the Hill. Alright, let's do it. Take that! And that! Ah. Oh, he's so dead. His name's Dante! Oh, he's a big boy! Guys, focus fire on that big one. Because he's looking at me. He's looking at me. Oh, no. No, no, no. Duck away. Oh, I like the level. It's really nice. Now, I am using full rate capture today. Which might make the... Ah! might make the video look a little stuttery in places. There's a lot of stuff going on in this game, so it might be pushing the quest a bit too hard. <laughs> run, 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 run! Oh my god! I'm so gonna die. I'm so gonna die. Right, objective A. We got it, we got it. Okay, so when, I, when it says campaign, I thought it was gonna be kind of like big free roam levels with a story, but it's not. It's kind of... Oh, bugger! Okay, I blew up. Um, yeah, it's not kind of big free roam levels with a story, it's... Who's shooting? Oh, hello! You're right there. It's kind of death matches, King of the Hills, and kind of what you can expect out of the multiplayer component except single player. So people who can't find people to play with online can still play. I think you can do bot multiplayer matches as well. Um, but I guess this is bot multiplayer matches but with a little bit of a story context to it. Take that! Come on, come on, come on, come on. He's got to be dead. Come on. Come on. There we go. Those big boys take a lot of beating, don't they? I like that that one's called Dante. And that one's called Brant. <laughs> come on. All right, what's my special ability? Stomp. Of all the special abilities, that one's a bit of a rubbish one. Okay, we've got two minutes to get the most points on domination. Nice and easy. Oh! Who was that? Was it you? You shit. At least you're dead now. The game does have kind of um, a slight, a slightly cell shaded aesthetic to it. It's not over the top, it's not super cartoony. But yeah, a little bit cell shaded. You can really see it in the explosions um, and the effects on shots like landing. Right, proximity mine, how do I launch it? There. He's gonna walk into it! <laughs> Take that, you fool! 
<laughs> okay. So this mech's ability is a proximity mine. That's not the most exciting one. Um, oh, dead again. Dead again. Oh, we won. Okay, I won while I was dead. That's fine, as long as we won. That's all that really matters. Continue, continue, continue. $26,000 and 2,795 XP. So we can buy something. So I could buy a new mech. I could buy a striker if I wanted to. Or I can't afford a vanguard. That's too much. Let's buy a striker. Yes. Look at that thing. Yeah, like look at that. So this thing's got a light machine gun and light missiles. Um, and then we can customize that as well as we, if we want to. But again, I can't afford anything right now. So I can't do it. But it's a new, it's a new mech. And that's cool. Uh, special delivery. Protect the supply tank while it is transported to the landing pad. Transport time three minutes. Okay, that's a bit different. It's kind of like an Overwatch payload mission. Right, same, same level. Ah! <laughs> oh my god! We are just charging into battle right now. Oh my god! Okay, my explosives on my left can only fire once they've got a target locked. Like this. There we go, there we go. There we go, and again. Take him down, take him down. Come on, he's done. Right, where's the target? Where's the payload? There's the payload. Right, we've got to look after that. Oi, you! Bugger off! I hope there are some more maps. Um, Firestorm, Billy. Oh, there's that bloody shuriken thing. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, my shield's down, my shield's down. I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. Oh, I knew that was happening. Oh, I knew that was happening. Okay. Well, there's the payload. <laughs> Off it goes. Yeah, I really do hope there's more maps than just this one. Um, because although I like this little city arena, I'm sure it will quite quickly get old if it's the only map. Oh, I think we're almost there. I think we're almost there. Where is the payload? Right, it's, it's, oh, the payload's almost destroyed. Get rid of him! Oh. No, bug off you! Stop trying to stop, stop! Ah. No, no, no! No! The payload's so close! It's so close! Oh, do not let it get blown up now. No! No! I'm furious. I'm furious, George. I'm not curious, George. I am furious, George. That is ridiculous. Right, let's have a look at a bot match to check out the other maps. Okay, there are other maps. That's great. So there's Aftermath, which is a city. Tundra. There's always a Tundra. Port, Wasteland, and Molten. All right, Molten looks like a lot of fun. Let's set up a bot match on Molten. Um, I just want to check out some of the other maps because the campaign is just throwing the cityscape map at me for the first couple of missions. So, in we go. Oh, Molten Lava. Right, so this is a 4v4 bot match. And it's domination, so king of the hill. Right, let's sprint. Let's sprint, lads. Come on. Come on. We got this. You need to sprint, though. You're not going fast enough. I think if you want a bit more interactivity, something like Vox Machina is still... Um, better. I really enjoyed being able to interact with the elements in the cockpit. The campaign is like really fleshed out. It isn't just the bot matches but with story component over them. So like cutscenes and dialogue. Whereas this is. But it's, it's, it's got, there's a lot to unlock in here and um, the combat feels fun. Oh my god. The combat feels fun. And I think if you were a kind of someone that's really into collecting things or unlocking things, you'd have a lot of fun kind of um, brilliant you'd have a lot of fun going through trying to unlock all the mechs and upgrade all the abilities and really give yourself a, an advantage um, in in the battlefield it'd be interesting to know if you can use your own mechs in multiplayer because would that create a hard to enter environment for new players you know if I bought the game two months after launch booted it up jumped online would I just get absolutely annihilated by people who have been playing the game for two months and have upgraded all their gear, have, you know, all the best guns and weapons and abilities. Would that be the case? I assume it would be. I assume it would be. So I guess play campaign for a bit and unlock some stuff um, before jumping into multiplayer. Okay, this level might be a little bit too big for 4v4 because A is miles away. Come on, nearly there. Nearly there. 
We're winning though. That's good. There we go. Hello. Finally somebody. Oh, bloody hell. Oh, they're all hanging out there. They're all <laughs> hanging out there. What? Why are they all just hanging out up there? Dude, that's ridiculous. Okay, so I can... I'll just blow them all up then. Yep, easy. One by one. I think their AI is failing yeah, miserably right now. There goes two. Oh, he spied me. Ooh. And there goes... Oh, not quite. Three. Easy. Okay, not sure why they lined up to die. Um, <laughs> but they did. There we go. We've captured all bases. You can't seem to raise the difficulty of the bots you're playing against. Um, so I guess it's just kind of one AI difficulty level. Um, it seems quite easy. I mean, right now we're controlling all three points. I've not had to do much. My um, teammates, my AI teammates, have been doing it for me, really. Um, oh, there's the, the central core. It'd be cool if we could blow that up. Can we blow it up? No, we can't blow that up. That's, that's not a thing you can do. Hello? Who are you over there? I'm going to shoot a shuriken at you. Ah! Oh, shit. I died, but I think he died too. I take solace in that fact. As long as he's dead as well, that's absolutely fine. Interestingly, running the bot matches gives you money and XP as well, it seems. So, it's a good way, I guess, to uh, work up to unlocking some of these better abilities and upgrades for your mechs. Just jump into some bot matches, destroy them, and crack on. Um, let's have a look at this port level. Ooh, port. Oh, this is a nice-looking level. The, the levels are good. I think there's five different levels, and... Um, yeah, they're, they're quite nice environments to fight in. I mean, this one's on, like, big ships. Is that a ship? Looks like a ship. Like a battleship. Or like an aircraft carrier. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, are you shooting me? We ah! Mate! Push me into the sea! Dun, 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 dun. It'll be interesting to see how this um, fares on the quest platform against the other mech games because the other mech games we currently have are a little bit more interactive as I've said um, and I wonder if people are going to be used to that now and are only going to want that level of interactivity Gavin thank you you know are people just going to want to be able to touch things in the cockpit and interact physically with their surroundings rather than being locked into these two kind of quest two controller style um, joysticks. I mean, I am having... Oh, God, no! Oh, it's okay. I thought I'd fall into the sea again. I mean, I am having fun. But I do prefer to interact with things. I do prefer the setup of something like Fox Mashing Up. Woo! Oh, doomed. I'm doomed. Where did that shuriken go? Nowhere near where I wanted it to go. Okay, he's gone. Ooh, no, dead. I knew I was dead. I knew I was dead. See you later, George. You're dead. Uh, it would be kind of nice if the planes in this level and the Objective cars in place. the other levels were like... Oh! I've fallen down again. Um, were destructible, like if you could actually blow them up. Because there's some, there's some planes over here. Here we go, look. And they're just window dressing. I can't actually do anything with them, which is a shame. Is there a mech next to me? Oh, there's two! Where did that go? Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Ah! Take that, you shit! Whoa! So on this smaller map, I think the molten map, the lava map, was far too big. On this small map, the <clears throat> AI are kind of really giving me a run for my money. They're actually, it's a much tighter match. Couldn't quite. Oh, what are you doing here? No, no. Get him. Get him. There we go. Yeah, this is a much closer matchup. Um, the molten map, I think, was a little bit too big. This is a much tighter, smaller, contained map. So it's creating a more 
Oh, what are you shooting at? It's creating a more interesting battle. Okay, let's try a multiplayer match. Are there any people playing this game online right now? We click play. Something's happening. No servers found. Okay. So, how do I play with friends? Okay, let's sum up some final thoughts. I think this is quite cool, but it isn't as good as the other mech games currently available on the Quest platform. It is a lot more arcadey. Um, I think not being able to interact with the cockpit in any meaningful way is... It's a choice, you know, it's a game design choice that the developers have made, consciously, I'm sure. Um, and it does create a more arcadey, frenetic, fast gameplay experience. But I think when you're sitting in a cockpit of a mech in VR, the joy is being able to flick the switches and grab hold of the controls yourself, not being fully affixed to them at all times. I would like to see hands and then grab things, you know, um, launch my missiles, switch to a different uh, weapon, press a button to cool down the engines, things like that. That's the kind of stuff I really like in these kind of games. Maybe that's just me. The positives here, I think, are the amount of customization, the amount of things that you can unlock. So there's a lot to work towards, you know? Whether that's unlocking all the different mechs, or all the different decals, or all the different weapon and armor and health upgrades within each mech, that's a lot to do. That's a lot to do. But is there enough enjoyable campaign or bot match content to keep you going, to earn enough money and XP? to get to that point where you'd want to upgrade everything. I don't know. The bot matches are kind of hit and miss. The molten level is a little bit too big, so it was very easy. I didn't really see any of the AI opponents. Um, and when I did find them, they were lined up in a row of four, and I just blew them all up one by one. But the aftermath map and the port map are nice and small, nice and tight, and it was a lot tighter. It was a lot closer the game um, between me and the AI. They, they really gave me a run for my money. I'm going to finish on a quick game on Tundra. I think currently my thoughts are quite mediocre. I don't think it's terrible. I don't think it's great. I think it's very middle of the road. Um, fighting mechs inside your own mech is always going to be fun in VR. You know, shooting rockets at another giant robot is always going to be fun, and it is fun here. The campaign, I, I kind of wish it wasn't just more bot maps with um, a little bit of dialogue added to them because that's basically what it is they're just bot maps but with dialogue there's no kind of big open world you're still playing on the same maps that the game is using which is these five maps so yeah it's it's okay but I think there's better mech games out there and for this game to compete with those games they've got a lot of work cut out for them I think it might find a niche Maybe people will want a game where they don't have to interact with the cockpit and things, but I can't imagine that being the case, you know? I just can't imagine it. The maps are nice. The maps look nice. The you know the environments in them um, are great looking. A little bit of variety. It's nice to see that in these mech games. Sometimes you only usually get like one deserty map and one kind of industrial map, and that's kind of it. But here we've got five different maps, and they are very different. Um... Yeah, I think it has promise, but I do think it's going to struggle to compete with things like Vox Machina, which feels far more fleshed out and far more interactive as a VR experience. I also can't seem to set up a private um, online game. I tried to play online, um, and it just told me there were no servers currently available. There was no one playing, so it didn't give me an option to set up a server. Um, so I'm not entirely sure at this stage how to play with friends, and it would be nice to play with friends and bots. Not sure if you can do that. Um, I might test that in a second before I before I sign off. But yeah, currently uh, it feels like Vox Machina and I wish I could remember the name of it. The other mech game I've played um, on Quest are better um, because they do things in a more interactive and enjoyable way. You know, they do things that really lend to being in VR. You know, this feels like it could be a flat screen game because you're just using the controllers. You aren't really engaging with all the with all the great things that VR does. No. Oh, what a shot! I like that though. That was great. That shot was insane. Um yeah, I am hitting some performance dips where I'm kind of noticing the frames kind of lurch and that's that's a shame, especially when action gets really intense. It just got it just happened then twice. Um 
much. Yeah, that's a shame as well. But I think the game's a long way out from release. At least I think it is. I think there's still time to fine-tune these things. I'm going to die. Yeah, we knew that was going to happen. We knew that was going to happen. Yeah, I think there's still time to fine-tune these things. I think there's still time to make this um, something really fun. But just be aware, if you're looking for a mech game, it is a far more arcadey experience, a far more passive experience. And um, Vox Machina, I think, still reigns supreme, is my honest, honest opinion. And there we have it. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please do leave a like, leave a comment, and hit subscribe. And I'll see you all soon for another one. Take care. I'm going to go and blow someone up real quick. Let's see if I can get, get one more cheeky killing before the end. Knowing me, I'll probably just die. Oh, here we go, here we go. We got one. We got one. He doesn't even want to fight me back. He stopped behind the building. He has given up on his life. Take care, everyone. See you later.